Hello, here's the how-to video for problem 1.8 in the solid modeling using SolidWorks 2017 textbook. So problem 1.8 is an impeller and it is drawn in metric. So the first thing we're going to do is change it from IPS to MMGS and then we'll get started drawing. So features tab, extrude boss base, front plane, circle. Okay then, uh, we'll just hit yes. Click the center, drag out a circle, um, drag out another circle here, and smart dimension. And we're going to smart dimension this one to 150. Smart dimension this one to 50. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, that one's not 50. This one is 20. All right. Now oh, it looks like I missed my origin somehow, so there we go. Now we're fully defined. Um, blue check mark. And the thickness of that is 5. All right, now on the uh, front face of this uh, back plate of the impeller, I'm going to do an extrude boss and I'm going to draw a lot of circle. This is called the hub. This part is called the hub. So I'm going to smart dimension the hub to 50. And then I'm also going to put another circle in the middle there. I'm just going to snap it to that. Um, it's not fully defined unless I smart dimension it. So I'm going to throw a 20 smart dimension on there so that it's fully defined. Okay, and then I'm going to extrude that out to 30. Whoops. There we go, 30. All right, so now the next thing that we have to do is we have to put the, uh, uh, the fins of the impeller on the, uh, on the front of the back plate, and we're going to attach them to the hub So I'm going to go to uh, Extrude Boss Base, I'm going to select this back plate, the front face of the back plate, and I'm going to draw out a horizontal line from the top of the circle to the right. Um, and then I'm going to draw out one more, well, there we go. And now I'm going to make these two lines parallel. And I'm going to smart dimension them so that they are five millimeters apart. And now the textbook says to um, use the convert entities tool uh, from the sketch group at the command manager and convert this circle and this circle into the sketch that we're currently in. Um, I generally don't do that a whole lot. I just generally just draw what I need to draw. Um, we'll do what the book says and see how that turns out. So uh, convert entities and uh, select the outside edge of that one, select the edge of the hub. All right, so now those are part of the sketch. Those lines are part of this sketch. Um, you wouldn't be able to use those lines or manipulate those lines if you didn't convert them into the sketch. And uh, what it wants us to do now is rotate the um, fins around in a circular pattern. So circular pattern. Parameters, I'm just going to select this outside circle. Uh, we want six of them. Make sure equal spacing is checked. And the entities to pattern, we don't want arc five. So if something else goes in there, uh, delete it. And we're just going to circle those lines around. All right, so there's those. Next thing we're going to do, uh, just hit the blue arrow. Okay, we're just going to select the regions that we want to extrude. Oops. Looks like I accidentally uh, I did it again. Select the line. You got to be careful where you click. You want to make sure you select inside the fins, not the lines. 
Well, they're kind of thin, so you can accidentally click the lines pretty easily. All right, and then uh, I have it direction to up to surface, and so the surface that I'm going to be um, extruding that up to is the face of the hub. So I'll select that and uh, make sure merge results is on direction of extrusion. Let's know what the direction of the extrusion is. Um, goes up this way. And so I'm wondering if, yeah. Oh, okay. Thin features check. There we go. All right. So I had to uncheck thin feature. My bad. All right. So here we go. Hit the green check mark. And oh, my bad. Um, up to surface. And the surface you want to extrude to is here. And hit the green check mark. And there you go. So there's those. Um, you know what? I'm looking here and I notice that my edge isn't uh, flush and it should be. Uh, so I'm going to go back into that sketch and I'm going to check it because this line should be tangent to this when you snap to that quadrant, but it didn't appear to be. So now it's tangent. I'm going to hit the green check mark and that should update the other ones. That line is still there. Let's see here. It's gone there, but I fear that it might just be showing me the tangent edge yeah so it's good all right so um, once you have that on then the next thing that we have to do is put on the front face and uh, the front face it's just a disc that is the same size as the uh, the front of it uh, it just has a larger hole in it than the back back uh, plate does so we'll put on the front plate um, Let me just get those <clears throat> dimensions here. So we'll do an extrude boss base. Click on that front face. Circle. Origin. Another circle. All right, smart dimension. So this dimension is 150. This dimension is 75. And it is five millimeters thick. There we go. That's it. That's how you draw the impeller. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put in the fillets. All right, so let's do those real quick. It's not too late. All right, so fillets. We got to put a fillet in here. Um, and those fillets are going to be five millimeters. So we'll just put in five here for our fillet dimension. Items to fillet. Now the book tells you you can just circular pattern this. Um, I'm not going to bother because there's only six instances of this and I want this video to be over so I'm just gonna click 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 and click there we go now it's done alright that's it